Hey everyone out there in Tumblr land, it's Battle Crazed Axe Mage again. Um, you might be able to tell I'm a teeny bit croaky, uh, just getting over being sick, but I had some really exciting dice mail come in today, so I wanted to get it while it was fresh. And I'm mostly over it, so you know. Um, that would be the new Polyhero themed dice set. It's their wizard set right here. Um, but I also have their first set, uh, the um, warrior set. And so I realized I never posted that. So I figured, you know, why not? Let's make it a double header. And as you can see, it comes in this nice little box. Um, but I think that also made it a little more expensive, just production costs. So they decided, well, this is just me extrapolating, but I, uh, that might be part of it. I don't know. I just know dice. So, moving everything into view of the camera. They have their D20 shield. Fun to spin like a top, but can't really use it as a die that way because then you bias the roll. Um, D12 helmet. D10 gauntlets. Uh, let's see, D8 mace. Um, uh, D6 lance. And D4 knife. Or dagger? Knife or dagger? One or the other. I know. Um, so they're pretty cool. Um, I got the steel with uh, copper set, I want to say, is the color. Uh, but they also have red, purple, and black, I want to say. All with different colors number of numbers. And so those are cool. I don't really use them much, but you know, it's a cool gimmick. So then they just did a Kickstarter for their wizard set, which you can see I got the pink elixir color because I will always choose pink. And let's get those out. So you see, we've got our D20 orb. Our D12 wand. Oh, I think it's meant to be held like this. D12 or D10 rather, uh, potion bottles. One. Let's move these back over here. So, potion bottle one and potion bottle two. Stands up pretty cool. Um, D8 scroll. And D6 fireball, which is pretty cool. They also offer a set of just fireballs on the website. So that's exciting in case you, uh, you have a wizard that uses that spell a lot. And D4 bolts. And so some people um, have had some um, less than stellar sets. Mine has a very minor seaming on some of the faces and a little bit of paint shenanigans uh, where the seams got crossed. But honestly, I feel like it's not not too bad. Oh, pff, I've still got to use, got to get used to where my camera is. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's not terrible. Do I wish they weren't there? Yeah, but it's not ruining my enjoyment of the set. Um, the bigger issue was um, the swirled sets, like their green flame, which was green with um, glow in the dark stuff 
uh, swirled into the medium, which was super cool. Well, super cool in theory. In practice, the swirl didn't really happen on some sets, which is kind of disappointing. Um, and I'm hoping they're, you know, rectifying that as um, they're made aware of it. Um, I do know they had production issues on this set, and that's why it took so long to fulfill. Um, I ordered these mm, 14 months ago, I want to say. Um, and I was one of the last, po um, like, first post Kickstarter pre-orders. Um, I didn't quite get the Kickstarter. Um, so I, I know there were issues all along. Hopefully for their next set, they'll go with a different manufacturer. And that's the cool thing. There is going to be a next set. Um, uh, they went with Rogues for the next one. And they've already put out a video of uh, what that's going to look like. It's super cool. I'll have to see if I can find if they have a Tumblr or something. I can reblog it. But yeah. So while it does have issues, I'm still going to get the next set. I'm going to kickstart it and everything. Um, and yeah. Good dice. So yeah, I'll see you around.